guys, uh, Nate Richards here from Richards Guitar Studio, and uh, we're going to go over an example uh, today from Scott Tennant's book, uh, Pumping Nylon. I would totally recommend, uh, go buy it, I use it all the time, uh, for years I've used it. It's basically, you know, I, I think the best uh, technique handbook out there, one of them anyway, for the classical guitar. And also for electric guitar players, uh, the things in there on the left hand are extremely important. So it doesn't matter what what you're playing. Uh, the song or the uh, the book is called Pumping Nylon by Scott Tennant. Great, great book. So uh, it's a finger independence exercise, and what you're going to do is plant your left hand fingers <clears throat> on the third string, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret. So you have all four fingers down, all right? And you want it to be a nice arched uh, fingering. If your hand is to the side like this, that's no good. All right, you want to kind of present your hand this way to the guitar. All right. So once you have that down, um, the first thing, uh, if you go to the blog at richardsguitarstudio.com, you'll find the, uh, the sheet music here for that. Um, the, it says to plant the fingers, and uh, the first plant is only two, three, and four. So what you're going to do is, after you get all these down, lift the first finger up, and then uh, you're going to play this. Uh, order of strings. The, the A string, the B string, slowly repeat that, and then the low E string, and then the high E string. Notice these fingers aren't moving at all. And you want to do this slow. If you're doing this fast, it defeats the purpose of the exercise. So very slowly, don't worry about rhythm, however long it takes you to stretch. Um, you know, that's how long it takes you, don't rush it. Repeat this a few times. And just try to feel the, the way that the index finger moves, because all your fingers are going to feel unique. So <clears throat> then you plant them all back down again, lift up the second finger, and do the same exercise. Now your first finger, third finger, and fourth finger have to stay where they are, and the second finger does the A string, the B string, E string. Repeat it. Notice I'm not really moving anything except for the finger. The, if the finger is going to extend out and then flex in. All right. Third finger is the hardest one. Um, it just doesn't want to move. So work on maybe just moving it up in the, in the air. See if you can bend it back and forth. So now the first, second, and fourth finger are going to stay where they are. And you do the same thing with the third finger. Remember, slow, nice and easy. Wait for your finger to get to the string. Don't rush it. All the way out, all the way back in. Last one is the pinky, so you have uh, one, two, and three planted down, and then the, the pinky does the strings. Now really reach and bend. I mean, the, the pinky is going to be extremely bent. One thing I find that people do is keep the, the pinky um, in an extended position and then use their arm to kind of compensate. So they'll do this and then they'll do that. And the pinky's really extended out there. You want to keep your hand close to the guitar and just bend the pinky all the way back. So when I'm in that position, my, my pinky is bent almost all the way. All right? Almost all the way back to my hand. All right, so this is a great left hand finger independence exercise for any, um, any style of guitar. All right, so go through each finger nice and easy. Make it part of your warm up. Um, think it like think of it like a relaxation exercise. Even though at first it's not going to be relaxing, it'll be difficult. But eventually, it's just something that kind of you do as a stretch and a finger independence exercise. And I think you'll find that that your practice session is more productive after you do an exercise like this. So again, get Scott Tennant's book. It's, it's worth the money, and uh, have fun with this one.